On the Health Watch, could the secret to eternal youth be found in blood transfusions from young people? Health reporter Stephanie Stahl has more on a controversial new treatment that's being tested. Transfusions with young blood from teenagers, some claim it can reverse the aging process. It's being tested in patients over the age of 35 as part of a clinical trial called Ambrosia, where people paid $8,000 to get the rich growth factors found in blood plasma platelets. It's pretty much people from most states, people from overseas, from Europe and Australia. Results of the trial have not been published, but Dr. Jesse Karzeman, who plans to open a business selling young blood, says patients who've had it say they feel amazing. And he says he's seen evidence of reversing the aging process in rats. Their brains are younger, hearts, their, their hair, if it was gray, it turns dark again. There's also been encouraging Alzheimer's research using young blood at Stanford. We found that it was safe and feasible to administer infusions of young plasma weekly. Dr. Sharon Shaw is a researcher who says they've seen evidence of improvement in functional ability. It's all very exciting that there can be components in blood that could be healing. Platelet-rich plasma or PRP treatments using a patient's own blood have been in demand as trendy vampire facials to fight wrinkles and as joint and tissue treatments to accelerate healing. And it's been tested to regrow hair. We can actually use um, your own blood to stimulate the body. The study hasn't concluded, but seeing enough short-term results, the researcher is optimistic. It looks very positive. But experts agree there is still more research that needs to be done. There's still a lot of unknowns and a lot of factors that we don't know when we're actually getting another person's growth factors and nutrient injected in us. While blood transfusions are considered safe for people who need them, side effects can include hives, lung injury, or potentially deadly infections. Stephanie Stahl, CBS3 Eyewitness News.